The story of Nicholas presents every issue around a patient with chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension. So we had a very frightened young man who, because of his hearing disability, couldn't necessarily express everything that was going on in his thoughts. C'était évidemment là, on, on savait pas trop qu'est-ce que c'était qu'il y avait. Il y a eu euh, la surdité qu'on a vue. À mesure qu'il se développait pas de la même façon que François. Et... Mais pas moi, toujours fatigué, endormi, puis soufflé un peu. Patients generally present with shortness of breath, and that's part of the problem because shortness of breath is not a very specific symptom. There are many potential causes. CTEF actually stands for chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension. It's a disorder uh, that is seen in patients who have had clots travel up into their lungs, pulmonary emboli. We don't know how long he had chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension. What we do know is that around the age of 34, he presented with worsening dyspnea to a degree that, that his uh, family noticed and brought him into medical care. Nicholas was in pretty bad shape. He could hardly walk. He could maybe climb up the stairs. Once he just went up to the second floor and then collapsed and lost consciousness completely. En fait, ce qui nous a amené au docteur Langevin, c'est en fait, c'est ton là, mais nous autres, on ne savait pas ce que c'était. Alors moi, je pensais que c'était le cœur. Je pensais que c'était le cœur. Oh, j'avais l'enflé les gens. In the case of our son and our family, it really changed the, the whole environment. Now we're living more a normal life. One of his pleasures is to be able to climb the hill up to the local oratory in Montreal, and, and whereas before he was unable to do it, now he does it. He does it with pleasure and he does it with ease.